Okay, so today's video isn't going to be a simple portfolio video where I name five coins and give vague price predictions. I'm going to tell you exactly what I would do if I had 5k cash in crypto right now. I'm going to be honest and give my full plan to pay the bull market with 5k. And this is one of the most important videos you'll watch, especially if you have a small portfolio. So make sure you watch it throughout because you won't get this kind of content from mainstream influencers. Also, I have to say nothing in this video is financial advice. This is just how I would navigate the market using all my experience and knowledge that I have at my disposal. So for these videos, we're going to work under these assumptions for you. One is you have a full-time job, which means you have little free time to research. And two, you feel that there's just too many good altcoins out there and you don't know what to pick. Let me start by telling you what I would not do if I had 5k. Number one, I'd stay away from leverage trading. Number two, I wouldn't buy meme coins. The simple reason being that most of the meme coin game is rigged if you don't have an edge. Third, I wouldn't buy expensive courses from influencers or trading bots. Fourth, I wouldn't buy extremely risky low cap stuff. And the reason why I'd stay away from all of this stuff is because when you have 5k, you can't really afford to take a lot of risk because if you lose 1k, you've already lost 20% of your money. So that's why you have to be extremely careful with how you spend it. Next, I wouldn't buy things that are consensus or have already pumped like crazy. If you don't know what consensus looks like, then just check out Crypto's Arista's YouTube channel. This was him when Solana literally topped out $120. He was talking about how Solana was going to surpass Ethereum. But at the bottom of Solana, when it was at like $8, he was literally bear posting. So that just tells you what these type of channels are really about. They're pretty much just news channels. And if you follow people like this through a bull market, you're going to get wrecked. And the last thing I would not do is try to go from 5k to a million dollars. This is the psychological number that everyone dreams about and influencers will happily give you crazy price predictions to give you that dopamine hit so you keep watching. But the simple question is, would you rather have a good 30 to 50% chance of turning that 5k to 150k or a 1% chance of hitting a million? Now before I get into the specific coins and price predictions, here are the principles of what I would do. Number one is get serious. That 5k can turn into a lifetime of savings. So you, if you want to actually make something of it, you're going to need to do these three things. One, you're going, to, you're going to need a strategy for finding good altcoins. Second, you need to buy them at a good price. And three, you need to have a strategy to play the market cycle. This is pretty much what I've built my entire channel upon. But number three is the most important. What's people's biggest regret of last cycle? It's not taking profit. The scary thing is a lot of people who made the mistake of not taking profit last cycle will make the exact same mistake again because they don't have a strategy. Don't let that be you. If you try to rely on past memories of something that happened three years ago, it's not going to work. In the mania of the bull market, you'll make so much money that you'll, you'll stop being logical and you'll get carried away. I'm not saying this to scare you, I'm saying this to make sure that you don't repeat the same mistake. Towards the end, I'll go over a framework you can use to prevent this happening. But another thing is, if you're holding coins that haven't really done anything in the last two months when we've had really good conditions, you need to cut them off. Don't waste the bull market holding dog shit tokens. You need to be bold, ruthless, have self-confidence. Don't be afraid of it pumping without you because there's always other odds and opportunities in crypto. Keep watching my videos. I'll have videos coming out denoting the shit coins from the good coins. And the last thing is you need a network. Talk to people about your portfolio. There's so many smart people in my Discord server in this channel, which is Portfolio Strategy. If you come over here and you post your portfolio, people will literally give you their good, smart opinions on it and it's always helpful to have an outside point of view on your portfolio. Now that we've covered the basic principles you need to follow for a bull market, let's discuss the coins I'd pick and how I'd allocate my portfolio. Then we'll finish off the video by discussing exit strategy and how much total gains we can expect. First of all, as of now, we're in a short-term downtrend within a high time frame uptrend and that's thanks to Barry Schilbert's dumping. But if you, if you look at total 10, you can just see how much opportunity we've got left. Last cycle, peak to peak, we did 500%. Now let me be bearish here. Let's say this cycle, we only do 250% because of diminished gains. That puts us at around 1.75 trillion. So if we put this as our sell target region, we still have for the entire pretty much altcoin market, excluding everything in the top 10, we have like an AX to go. But more importantly, around $1.4 trillion of value is being created. The thing is though, that value won't be distri distributed equally across all altcoins. That's why you need to find the best altcoins or follow someone who does. So this is my playbook for the next few weeks. Study specific sectors deeply and buy the best coins that hold the strongest. The, the reasoning is simple. You buy the things that have the best fundamentals and then you combine that with the things 
the holes the strongest, aka have the best technicals. If the specific outcries don't dip as much as the rest of the alts in that sector, it usually means there's a strong demand for it. Now, this is exactly what I do with 5k right now. First thing I do is have a proper investment strategy. I'd split my money up into sectors like this. I'd put 80% of my money into large caps that are less risky and 20% into more DJ and stuff. This gives me a bit more stability. Then I'd buy the best altcoins that I actually believe in. The reason I would buy these now is just to gain good high quality exposure to the market. Yes, I know these won't give the craziest of gains, but they have a high probability of performing well and staying relevant. And that's what you need if you have a small portfolio. The truth is a lot of these so-called low cap gems will fizzle out this year and do nothing as the next 10,000 coins launch and steal all the attention. Beam and Akash can give you a realistic conservative 20x if you can begin to accumulate from around 20 to 30% lower from here. So that's one thing that I would do to make up part of my 5k portfolio. The main reason I choose to hold these is because they're not risky compared to micro craps and they'll still be relevant in 6 to 12 months. You need to build bankroll because once this 5k gets turned into say 50k from these going up, you have a lot more to work with. Disclaimer though that this is high risk as well because because your 5k doesn't have a foundation of Bitcoin, Ethereum and stables. The trade-off is with low capitals, you have to take higher risk if you want the gains. In terms of the riskier side, I think Gun could launch and potentially give a 50x. It depends on the, on the two economics. I'll make a video when they do come out. Ondo is something I'd hold here. Problem is, it's already up 3x since we found it in the Discord. What I would honestly do with this 1k is, I'd look for new and upcoming projects. You won't get a 50 to 100x's buying coins YouTubers have already talked about and are up 10x. In December, in these videos, I warned people against buying these gaming coins that got pumped by Alex Becker. And if you look now, they're down around 60% from those highs. So if you bought here with 5k, your money is worth 2k now. I wish I could give you a fresh gem in this video, but the truth is real gems don't come out often and a lot of them aren't even out yet. You need to look for a new paradigm, something new to be added to. And that's one of my main focuses this year. So if you want to follow along, then be sure to subscribe and join the Discord. So just to recap, what I do with 5k in clear terms is I'd accumulate two to three strong projects like the ones I've shown here. I would DCA in. You don't make a lot of money by putting $200 into 25 projects. You win with concentrated bets. I would use the capital that I gained from these to then rotate to riskier players and new and upcoming projects. And I think this is the best way to utilize 5k at this stage of the market cycle. Your goal with 5k is to capture as much of this me as possible when we get another trillion dollars of value flow into the space. But this video serves as a solid starting point. My picks can change and as I said, I'm going to take my research to another level now so it's possible I find much better picks that I decide to go, go with instead. And honestly, it would be much easier for me to sit here and chill you five random low caps and tell you they're going to go 100x. I'd get way more views and subscribers. That time will come later when I actually do find good gems. But for now, the people who can actually think logically and can recognize the value of this content, they're the ones I want in my Discord, I want to surround myself with, not Moon Boys. Now, this is the most important part of this video. How to make sure you don't round trip your gains in a bull market with the portfolio that you have. Right now we're in a good place for the market. Phase 2 of the bull market isn't close yet, aka a real alt season. I think an average of 30x is a good target for all of us this cycle using the 80-20 rule. Problem is when we actually do get there, you have like one week to sell. If you look at Garland, how long he actually spent during the top when he reached around 0.7, it gave you about 7 days. And then it went minus 40%. On top of that, when the gains do come, they happen so fast. Literally within the space of weeks, they go parabolic. And that's really the biggest risk. You make so much money so fast, you get euphoric and you lose track of what you're doing. You begin to believe influencers who tell you that BTC is going to go to 500k because you don't want the music to stop. That's why you need to rely on signals to give you clues and indications for when to sell. I made an entire video on that, so check it out. But the essence of it is, the market will literally tell you when things are getting crazy and it's up to you to listen and go against the crowd. One of the most powerful tools you can use is set a mental hard stop loss and stick to it. For this portfolio, the stop loss might be 100k. Once it dips below that, you sell everything. That'll stop you from riding 5k up to 150k and then back down to 15k. In the future, I'm going to release specific take profit formulas and guides. So join the Discord if you want to get access to those. But just to summarize this video, 
if you're someone who doesn't want to take a lot of risk this cycle, use this cycle as the launch pad for the next cycle. Turn 5k into say 150k, take 50k out, you have 100k, you buy the lows of the next bear market and then you ride that over 10x. Don't let anyone fool you to thinking that crypto is dead after this next run because it's just not true. If you're someone who has a lot of free time, you need to do everything you can to build capital. That means maybe getting another job or raising more capital. Not financial advice, but that's honestly what I'd do if I had 5k. Remember, the only thing that we're doing in this game is we buy the best coins and we play the market cycle. You need a network to help you do that. Join the Discord, it's free, but it will lock soon. Thanks for watching.